That, now to our top story at 5.30. A disturbing confrontation caught on police body camera video in Nassau County. A 33-year-old black man was tasered by white officers for failing to provide identification during a suspected jaywalking incident. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan spoke to the plaintiff. I just felt the instant pain and uh, woke up on the ground. I don't remember hitting the floor. But I was tased twice. It was April of this year when 33 year old Mark Merritt had a run in with first precinct officers of Nassau County. It was caught on police body camera. ID. For what? For jaywalking. Give me and on the police report, it says it's a crime against society. Jaywalking is now a crime against society. It was here in Baldwin crossing Grand Avenue where Mark Merritt said he was first confronted by Nassau County Police. Merritt, who works for a building supply company, says he and a correction officer, Buddy, were trying to get their friend's motorcycle started by pushing it out of the lot and into the street. Officers looked on from a gas station and Merritt says, instead of helping, demanded his ID. Merritt said he'd done nothing wrong and refused. I think it was more his ego. You know, it was more of a, I'm demanding you to do something, you're not listening, so I'm going to show you who really has the power. He appeared to taser Merritt when he reached into his pocket for his ID. It's a total effort to harass a young black man, and it's wrong. We see a foot on his back and a knee on his leg. Today was the first time I saw the, the video, and it's extremely disturbing for me. It's heartbreaking. It's devastating. Attorney Kenneth Mullen says they will file a $1 million lawsuit for excessive and unjustified force and harassment. Nassau is unable to respond due to pending litigation. I think if I'd have been a female, I'd have been a white male trying to help somebody, it wouldn't happen. Police on Long Island have been sued over racism in past decades and have hired more officers of color, vowed change, fairness, and transparency. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. And police transported Merritt to the hospital by ambulance. He spent the night handcuffed in a jail cell. The following day, disorderly conduct and governmental obstruction charges were added to jaywalking.